Hi everybody, it's Brittany. Um, so today I'm going to be answering this food tag. Uh, it's a little different. I'm not going to be cooking or anything like that. I just thought it seemed really fun. Um, I've watched a few of these tags before and I was never really into it, but because this one's about food, it was something that I really wanted to answer because I really like to talk about food a lot. Um, so here goes. So number one, the first question was, um, are you a foodie who loves to cook or are you a foodie who can't cook at all? Um, I'm a foodie who loves to cook. And number two, it was three ingredients that you can't live without. Number one is definitely lemons. I love lemons and I just love using the, uh, the acids from the lemons in a lot of my cooking and I usually use it in place of vinegar pretty often. So lemons I think is probably the most used ingredient in my kitchen. Um, the next ingredient would definitely be cilantro. I love, love, love cilantro. I think it is delicious. Um, I put it in everything and I really think it's, I can't live without it. Um, besides it being my favorite herb, it's just one of my favorite ingredients to cook with. Um, and then the third one, I had to think really long and hard about, but I decided that it's um, grated cheese. So Parmigiano Reggiano, or Pecorino Romano, or Locatelli, just any kind of sharp Italian aged cheese that I can grate onto pastas, um, omelets, anything like that. It's definitely a staple ingredient. It's always in my fridge. <clears throat> um, I don't think there is ever a time when it's not in my fridge. Even growing up as a kid, my mother always had it in our fridge. I've never seen it not there. Um, number three question. If you can travel to anywhere in the world to eat one particular dish, what would it be? I had to think so hard about this um, and I finally came down to go to Mexico, preferably Mexico City, and try a very authentic mole. <clears throat> um, I've actually never tried mole. Uh, I'm from New York and I don't, I don't think that we get a lot of authentic Mexican food in New York. I've never really seen mole on the menu unless you go to Manhattan, of course. Um, so it's something that I really want to try and I just have a feeling that I would really like it because of the flavors, um, the chocolate and the dried fruits and stuff like that that are in it. So, mole. Um, <coughs> Number four, if you can dine with anyone in the world, dead or alive, who would it be? I think it would be Michael Pollan. Um, he's a very famous food writer. Um, he's definitely an inspiration to me. I really like his opinions on food, and I think that he has very strong opinions, yet they're very fair opinions. Um, and I think that he just seems like a really nice guy. I have no idea, but it seems like he wouldn't try to be talking at me about food or teaching me things. He would just want to talk with me about like how it tastes and stuff like that. So yeah, Michael Pollan. Um, and the next question is, number five, what is your favorite food related book or movie? So I kind of saw this as two questions. So my favorite book, uh, related to food. It's really difficult, but it would probably be The Omnivore's Dilemma by Michael Pollan. Um, it is a really, really good book, and it's hard to describe what it's about. Um, he just basically, you know, breaks the eating cycle of humans down. Um, he starts you know, where we are now today in modern day society with, you know, a lot of like factory animals and a lot of processed foods and he sort of just goes and tries to learn about it and he, you know, eats the processed foods and just says what he thinks and then he goes to sort of like industrial organic farming industry and he tries to like break it down as to how you can sort of navigate the supermarkets and and then, um, in the end, he tries to, like, 
hunt and gather for his own food, and it's just really, really interesting. It's a great book. Um, and my favorite movie about food is by Ang Lee, who is actually a Taiwanese director. He directed Brokeback Mountain. And this is a Taiwanese movie. It's called Eat, Drink, Man, Woman. Um, if you can get it on Netflix, if you're in the States, you should do that. It just has, like, the best, most beautiful food scenes. Like, you can hear all the food and, and really, like, see it up close. And, like, the man who is the chef in the movie, his hands are just really worn in and and I, it's just beautiful beautiful like food scenes and it's a good story too it's a really good movie so um, number six what is your guilty pleasure food fried chicken always um, and number seven was from Sam K. Young uh, who is your role model for cooking um, <clears throat> that was a really difficult one also because I have to say there's two I couldn't, I couldn't decide one over the other. Um, number one is Lydia Bastianich. She's an Italian chef, but she lives in Queens, New York, and she is just amazing. She has a PBS channel in the States, um, Lydia's Italy. It's a great show, and I've been to her book signings, and I just, I love her. And my grandma, of course, because my grandma, um, you know, I ate so much of her food growing up, and it was a really important part of my life. And my question is, um, what would your last meal be? Say you were on death row, and you were only get you can only choose one meal. What would it be? Um, mine would definitely be eggplant parmesan. Just eggplant parmesan, maybe with some Italian bread and butter, and that's it. Um, this food tag was originally posted by Jen from Tasty Memories, so I will tag some others, and I hope you enjoy, and thanks for listening and watching. Bye!